And welcome back, this is Baldur Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming game is Insum. He is 46th in his gold division. He has a record of 63 wins and 53 losses with 845 points. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the Northeast. Up against Insum, he is red and Zergish. He is in the Northwest corner. The map is Delta Quadrant, which once again, after saying for so long on my channel that I only seem to play Terran players on this map, here we go. I have once again not played Terran since I played my first, I believe, Protoss player. Since I played my first other race than Terran, I have never gone back and never seen a Terran on this map again. I don't know why that is. But this is a map that I always hear. Oh, it's great for large games, long macro games, blah, blah, blah. I never see it. And that's because I think uh, that these third... Third expansion, second or third, depending on your play style. Those expansions are so hard to hold on to that it's hard to get the units and the defenses necessary for a long macro game. Especially when I'm playing and I go for an early push at the 8 or 9 minute mark, usually. Depending on how I feel that day or how good I am that day. I will say that this was a good day for me in terms of gameplay. I did pretty well for myself. I did have a few mistakes here and there, but nothing catastrophic except for one, but I'll show you guys that when it comes to it. So I'm going in, scouting his base, trying to figure out what's going on, not really seeing much of anything. That, that gas did go up first, and the spawning pool is on the way, so I I, I think I was thinking Mass Roach. I went down here um, because I forgot that there were debris th there. There was debris. So this is where the, the, the first expansion would, the fast expansion would go down for, for Zerg players. Don't, don't, don't check there. But I checked it again. Yes, it's definitely a spawning pool. Why is there a spawning pool after, after gas? So I don't know what to say about his early game, because he's already got 50 gas and nothing to spend it on. And he's going for Zergling Speed, which is cost him, it looks like, 25 gas? Uh, I didn't catch it. And it doesn't tell me anymore. So he's going for the Zergling Speed, technically called Metabolic Boost. But meanwhile, I'm getting Marauders. I, I messed up once again. This was... A small mistake for me. I got a tech lab on my first barracks. I want to get a reactor there. After I get a first marine, I didn't do either one of those. So apparently I did not like marines this game. Or at least in the early game. Because I went for the marauders straight away. Uh, I think that is because I assumed roaches. Maybe I'm giving myself too much credit. I just made a simple mistake. Here we go. There's the fast expansion. Sort of fast. Four and a half minutes is... I would say pretty fast. And a few Zerglings out on the field. He's got eight of them. I've only got two Marauders. That is not going to be enough to hold off eight Zerglings. I I'm not sure why he's getting the speed, to be honest, because I should be able to block it off. Just a thought. I don't know. I mean, it's just for speed. And it did finish there, I believe. No, there we go. Did finish. Gives him little wings. Like, they drank Red Bull. And he's, like, testing the speed here. Ooh. They're fast. Okay. So I did get a reactor on my second barracks. Usually my first barracks. But whatever, I'll take it. Third barracks is up. Macro is slipping. I did get concussive shells, which should slow him down. And see, once again, here's where the speed just plays almost no part. You know, these guys are just, you know, confusing themselves around in a circle faster. That's all that means. And here, I'm just, oh, I was like, oh, why didn't I go for the block off? Why didn't I go for it? That is why block offs are very important. 
So he's running in into my base, so I send all my SCVs off the line because I assume that because he went for so many SC so many Zerglings that he didn't get any drones, and he really didn't. You know, he's down to six. He he had 16. I had 25, and here come more Zerglings. And I'm trying to get a bunker up, but no, they're they're gonna run right past where I want that bunker to go. And now my own units are in the way, and I can't build there. So I get all the SCVs off the line again, because that is that is important. You don't want to wait for all your army to die before you send the SCVs out. If you know you're gonna have to do it, don't wait for these guys to die. You know, especially for for Zergling players for, for zergling rushes against my ranged units if the scvs can tank pretty much for the my ranged units then that's what i want them to do so here i do finally get a block off kind of up and i get a couple guys in there but this marauder couldn't fit he's too fat and i'm trying to uh try to repair it was not going to be enough so a few zerglings out, he's almost caught up in the harvester count, and you know pretty much taken the lead in terms of the units lost, and the army count. And once again, I'm forced to take all my SCVs off the line. This guy's retarded, doesn't know how to attack. Uh, even though he has an attack icon, it's a scan move. So yeah, will not engage enemies. It says so right there. Yeah, scan move. Whatever. Hate you, mule can repair but whatever so I'm getting that bunker up finally he stopped with the attacks after this it looks like yeah he has absolutely nothing left in terms of army and he's not producing really anything right now looks like oh he's gonna go into a spire so he's pretty much a pure harassment build right now on this game at least I don't know if he always goes for this but this is this is pure harassment quick zerglings into quick spire even though it's the nine and a half minute mark because of all those zerglings i have been forced to fall back and you know i'm i'm down to nothing in terms of minerals and gas he has a ton there's really no reason for him not to have you know roaches or a mass of zerglings but really they just popped out I sent these guys out. They're going to take out the debris. I need an expansion sooner rather than later. He, up to 1,500 already. This is worse than me at the end game. This game is not one for him. I have blocked him out. I don't know why he's checking out this, this high yield down here. I did not expand there. And I don't know anybody that would, to be honest with you. But he is sending Zerglings to pretty much every expansion that I could take without destroying debris it looks like and no nope, including the high yield with the debris I do have the bunker up and full two marines one marauder that is how I like to do it Mulus 